Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the Ollie Romper from Retro Sparkles um, Patterns. I am going to be using a solid rib knit fabric and I am going to use a double brush poly um, label tag from um, LBK Printing. So I'm just going to fold this and just set it aside because I don't need that right now. So this is my um, neck band right here and this is where the fold is at and these are my raw edges so I'm going to go ahead and sew right across that. Just like that. So I'm just going to trim off the ends. So right where we get to our fold, I'm just going to make these little snippets, like these little Vs. And um, this is just gonna help me align on my romper. I'll show you here in a little bit. Put that to the side. And then these are my leg bands. And I'm going to fold in half. So this is my raw edge right here. And then here is where it's folded and I'm going to sew on the raw edge. I'm gonna do that for the second one as well. Fold in half and sew on the raw edge. On this one as well, I am going to do the little snippets on the fold. So I'm just gonna make sure it's folded in half, do my little snippet. This just helps me make sure that everything's aligned and that I'm not over pulling or over stretching. So just like this. All right, so now we're gonna get to the front and the back piece of the romper. So this is what it looks like, and this is the neck curve right here. I have already made my little snippet right here. I do that to the front and to the back of the pattern. Um, this just makes uh, everything easier for me to align. So if you can tell, there's that little V cut, my little snippet. This is the back part of the um, romper. So I'm gonna align the little shoulder pieces right here and I'm gonna sew for this side and that side. And then the second side. I'm just gonna snip those thread ends. Okay, so for this part, I am gonna use a clip. And then this is where my neck band comes in place and my um, tag right here. So this is what it looks like. As you can tell, this is the back and this is the front of the romper. So on the back of the romper, um, this is where you want the part that is sewed back here. So where I made the little snippets in the front, I'm gonna open it up, put those little snippets, align those little snippets, those little Vs right there, and I'm going to align it with the front of my romper so that all three Vs are aligned. I'm also gonna make sure that the fabric is placed correctly, that there's um, and then overlapping that they're just on top of one another just perfectly and I'm gonna put my clip there and then I am going to fold the back right here you're gonna hear my little guy in the background he's playing and then okay so here is the back where my seam is and then here is the back side of the romper and I'm gonna align <clears throat> excuse me um that with the little V cut in the back and then I'm going to grab my tag, face it forward, and just kind of eyeball the center right there. And I'm gonna place it right on top. 
And I'm just going to align all my fabric together. Make sure that it's all in place before I um, put it under the sewing machine. So when I put it under the sewing machine, I'm going to start over here. You see the beginning of my tag, so I'm going to start over here. All together, you're going to want to make sure that your um, fit is up and that your needles are the highest that they will go. And you're just going to slide everything in there together, just like that. And then um, this one, you don't have to pull the neck band at all. It's a perfect fit. So I'm just going to kind of like pre-align um, the fabric and then begin sewing. Carlo, what did I tell you? I said I'm making a video. Yes. Okay, so I'm getting to the beginning. So I'm gonna remove my clip. I do not need that anymore. So I'm just gonna come to the remaining of the neckband and the romper just align everything and so i am not pulling any of this fabric at all i'm just guiding it and aligning and um, here's my little thread and i'm just going to place it under i want that to get sewed over so when you get closer to the tag, you want to make sure that the tag is not folded up. You want to make sure that it's flat out because you, um, if you don't make sure, then it can fold up and then you're sewing your tag. So I'm going to leave a long strand. And I leave a long strand because I like to knot my ends and I just do a double knot as tight as I possibly can and then I just snip it. I know there are several methods to um, finishing that's just the way I do it. So then this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like with the tag sewn in. And then I'm going to sew each side up. So here's the armpit or the arm. So from the pit all the way down. So I'm just going to align everything. And you do not have to pull. You just have to align and guide for this pattern. And I'm just going to do it for this um, second side. Okay, so now for the armbands. So this is what it looks like. So here are my armbands. And I am going to grab one of my bands and the side with the, um, the thread. Um, I already lost my train of thought. Um, it's going to go towards the armpit area. This is just preference um, and how I like to do it. So the snippets that I made up here, I'm going to do it with the top of the shoulder where that seam is. So match those two little V-cut snippets and then align it with the seam at the top of the shoulder. And then I'm going to put a little clip right there that just holds it in place. This just also allows me to know if I need to um, pull it. 
pull my armband, which in this pattern you don't. Also make sure that your foot is up from your sewing machine or your serger and that your um, needles are the highest that they will go. So now that I'm there, I'm going to fold this seam right here. Align it with the seam to the romper to the sides. And then this is where I'm going to begin sewing. So I'm just going to line everything right here before I begin sewing. And then I'm going to align and guide. I'm not having to pull my band. This is a perfect um, width for it. The length that is given in the instructions is perfect. So I'm just aligning everything. As I don't use clips or um, pins. Um, so my little thread over here, I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm just going to tuck that under and then I like to sew over that. Leave a long thread and I knot. So what I did for this side, I'm going to repeat the same steps for the second side. Snip it over here, right there. Okay, so now we just need the second armhole. And I'm just gonna make sure that this video is still going. Yes, it is. Okay, same steps. your little clip and make sure your foot is up and that your needles are the highest they will go. I am using a serger. I forgot to mention that. And I am, uh, my serger is the Juki MO1000. So here I'm aligning my seams, placing it together under my foot, and then just align, align and guide. Move that clip and then align and guide. The thread that's left, just put it under. And then I do sew over that seam one a little bit. And then you knot. Okay. So this is what everything looks like. Okay. So now you have a choice. So you can go right into your machine and this is the crotch area right here and you can sew from this end all the way around to this other end i am going to add snaps so this is what i'm going to do um and so this pattern does not show you measurements for that um this is just what i do you can make it thicker if you want or the width um more than what I do. So I do mine um, one and a half inch wide and the length I just, um, let me see, I gotta measure. Uh, this is 12 and a half inches. Um, this is a, let me see, this is a 4T. And um, depending on the size, you're gonna either need more or less. 
uh, but this is, I just cut strips to be honest. So uh, this is not a part of the tutorial from the original pattern. The original pattern tutorial tells you to sew from right here to there. And then once that is sewed, then you fold your bottoms together or the, you know, the ends and then you hem. I am doing mine a little different and I'm also believe I'm not going to finish this tutorial um, or this product with you. I'll just kind of explain what I do on my cover stitch. I don't want to have to move my camera um, to a different location um, to show you. So this is the pretty side um, that I'm going to be using right here. and. I'm going to fold this in half, just like this. I'm gonna line it right here. And then under the machine, and just because I don't know if you can see when I'm working under the machine. So I am not going to pull this band whatsoever. I'm just going to line it and guide it, align it and guide it till I get to the end. Once I get to this end, as you can see, there's a long strand. I want this remaining strand for the other side, so I'm going to cut right there. So let me just actually do it under the machine. Just remember, line and guide, don't pull. Okay. And since this does have a curve, I am going to be stopping to lining um, my band and sewing. So we're getting closer to the curve, so I'm just going to kind of shift my romper a little bit more to that side. We're getting to the end, so I'm going to cut the closest that I can and then sew down the bottom. So let me show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like right here. And then I'm just going to repeat for the opposite side. So I'm just aligning everything. Okay, so I'm not going to finish this off with you, um, but I will post pictures in the comments below, uh, depending on where you're watching this. So if you want to see the full video, you will go to my Facebook page, Sewing with Chrissy. So this is what the bottom looks like. Right here. So what I would do is the next thing I would do is I would take it over to my cover stitch. So let me show you what it looks like. So as you can tell, this is the bottom. And then I would open one side up so that this is what it looks like. And I would bring this up and hem all of this from this end to this end. I would repeat for the second side. So let me just put some pins in really quick, just so that way I can give you an idea of what it's going to look like.
So I'm just going to throw a few of them in there. And it's not going to be perfect. I'm just folding over really quick just to show you. Because this will be an opening. Um, this is an opening so that way if you have um, children in school or babies, it's easy to do those diaper change or easy for them to go potty. So if it was hemmed, this is what it would look like right here. Let's just use your imagination, pretend that's hemmed. And then all you would have to do is go in and add snaps to the bottom and to the top. And if you were to do that, And I'll show you the little snaps that I'm talking about. I'll show you an example of, of a finished one. So this is where the snaps would close. And then you get like that. I know it's not perfect, but let me show you one that is already done completed so this is what it looks like um let me show you the let me make sure okay this is the front side right there it has snaps and it doesn't look bad um once it's on the child i put this on my daughter kinsley and it was perfect so here's the snaps so it makes easy diaper changes or if like she's going to school or, you know, Sunday school, it's easy for her to go to the restroom by herself without my assistance. You need to just snap back up. So if you have any questions over this tutorial, please let me know and I'll be happy to answer.